uh, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning from wherever you are. Those who have tuned in uh, right now, we are here in studios of Nile One, live in Kampala, Uganda, East Africa. So your host is Daniel Mulondo. Uh, we are here to demystify, uh, analyze, and see the opportunities in Web3. So we are here with a team of experts. And uh, please make sure that you're, 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 you're around your screens. Uh, go to your comment section below. And uh, just comment below something where you're watching from and also your question about Web3 applications and the adoption. That's the topic we're going to have tonight. So we are ready with experts here. And uh, they're going to say hello to you. Um, let me start from here. Yes, welcome everybody. My yes. name is Akram Kawio, and I'm a blockchain developer and a web architect. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. He's a Web3 developer yes. at Nile One Academy. So uh, we're glad that he's going to share something. Okay. Welcome, Abbas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings to everyone wherever you are. Yes. And I'm so grateful to be here. Yes. I'm called Silas Ogire, and I'm a community builder. Yes. I'm grateful to be in this studio today. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Cyrus. You're welcome. Is a community builder, because in the Web3 applications, uh, we talk about three people. I mean, the technology itself, the developers from his, uh, his side, then the educators, and also the community managers who are directing people so that they get into the industry in the right way. So uh, we are here, and then um, first and foremost, we're going to understand what is Web3. Web3, mm. then uh, we are going to see the technical part of it, how it works. Mm. Uh, from the technical part of it, in simple terms, what's Web3 from the layman's understanding if we talk about Web3? Yes, if I'm to break down Web3, yes. this is a new technology and it is being powered by the blockchain technology. Okay. Uh, but before we get to understand what Web3 actually is, we have to know where we come from or how have we gotten to this point Yeah, yeah, yeah. Web3. Getting to understand where you come from, where yes. you are, and where do you're heading. Yes. It's something that can take you places. Yes. Web3 is pictured as the technology of the future, although it is here already. Okay. And before uh, the advent of computers, it is, it is pictured or said to be Web1. Okay. Where Web1 uh, content was created by companies and was out, put out there to the community to interact with. Yes. It's basically content put out there for the community or for users by companies. Now, Web2 is where we have content generated by users over the internet or the platform. But the problem with Web2 is these uh, platforms where content is being shared and organized, is being centralized or no. owned. Wait, wait a minute. Mm. The difference between Web1 and Web2 is the content or the data. Yes. Because I understand uh, in the 21st century, data is something that is the real gold. I mean, it's a commodity. It, is a, it is something that we trade. Yes. Every company in the whole world is looking for data, how to tap into the data mm. of the society and everything. Data so the difference is data? Yes, because in Web 1, data was being given out or purchased by companies. Okay. In Web 2, data is being given out by users, but controlled by companies. Or users yes. uh, on Web 2 uh, deploy data. Yes. A For case example, in point? Twitter okay. or Facebook, like social applications. So social applications, they're not paid up services. Yes. For example, for uh, a one to join on Facebook, mm. you just need your handset, then you sign up for, yes. for the application. Your details? Yes. These details are being used by these companies or certain organizations to monetize on you. Okay. Yes. We see in Web2 is where we see uh, 
the advertising. Oh, wow. Now I can see the point here. Because w when I'm on social media, when I'm on Facebook, mm. they normally uh, look at my special interests. Yes. For example, if I'm interested in uh, financial news, mm. or if I'm interested in uh, uh, celebrities, mm. they always give me that category mm. of that particular data. So I'll give you a good design okay. uh, to give you ads based on your interest. And your interest come from what you do in the country. So basically, they see what you watch, what you follow, and they pick what you're most interested in. So they provide advertising, which, is, which makes you the product wow. and the platform. Okay, as I'm coming back to you as a developer, mm -hmm. as a developer, a Solidity developer yes, on Web3, yes. and of course you're doing that at Nile One, right? Yes, sir. And there's a couple of projects you're working on. Yeah. So uh, let me go to um, the, 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 the Green Wolf here, the, the person who educates the public, the person who disseminates this information. Uh, in simple terms, to the consumers of information, what is how do you uh, relate it to uh, a layman when you talk about Web three? So when it comes to Web three, yes. uh, you talked of the the content that mm. is being shared on social media and so on. Now Web three comes in a way that uh, you'll be sharing your content, mm. but you connect to a platform with your wallet. Mm. So now when someone wants to give you a tip, yeah. they'll be able to give you a tip and that tip will go directly to your wallet. Mm. So let's say in, uh, in this case we can give an example, for example Twitter. Okay. So when I share something on Twitter, yes. for example in Web3, I'll be able to share a content. Mm. Someone maybe is so uh, passionate about the content that I've shared, it's benefiting him, he can decide maybe to give me a tip. Okay. This tip is going to go directly mm. to my wallet. Yes. And then we can say in Web3, we say not your keys, not your content, mm. because everything is going to be connected mm. to your wallet. And wallets are one of the applications that are going to be available mm. in Web3. So wallet, you need to have a private key. We are going to uh, talk about it uh, uh, in a layman term so that they can be able wow. to understand. So, uh, wow. Now that comes to something that is interesting. Yes. Because anything to do with a wallet, to take is a same thing. Is right? Of Isn't course, it? you mean money. Money. When we talk about wallet, uh, that's all, uh, all about money. Money in the wallet. Money in the bank. Money in, in your, in your in it is your earnings. So uh, the difference I've seen here between the two of you uh, with Web3, People have been giving data freely, yes. but now on web of on web three, mm. everyone is gonna be, um, um, so everyone is gonna benefit from their data that th they sell on internet. That's why your your wallets, uh, your private keys come through the mm. connectivity yes. of this technology. How wow. it comes about is the blockchain technology because with blockchain yeah. you own anyone is free to join in. Anyone is free to create content yes. and to earn on it. Okay. Now, before Web3, in Web2, it was a certain organization, a certain company that owns the platform, owns the servers, owns the data. So it means in Web2, data is centralized. Yes. But in Web3, it is decentralized. Decentralization of data. And that comes with the power of blockchain. Wow, wow, wow. I hope you're learning something, uh, dear viewers who are watching us. I hope you're, you're learning something from what these people are sharing. Uh, we've talked about here Web3, there's blockchain, there's um, wallets, private keys, and data. So no, now those are take-home points that uh, I want all of you who are watching us, go into the comment section below, uh, wherever on each and every social platform you're using. Uh, those who are on YouTube, you can go there down and type. Those on Zoom, go there on our webinars, please go there and, and try to type something, what you have not understood, because we, we're gonna unpack everything at a go. And then uh, those who are watching us on, on, on uh, Facebook, please also subscribe. 
make sure that you share this, invite your friends to watch your life changing opportunities. Okay, let me go to the community manager. Because yeah, before before I I I, I put everything on the table. Briefly, as a person who has been in an industry of uh, community uh, adoption, creating communities, what are the, some of the uh, challenges to the communities when it comes to these new technologies? What do they ask first? Thank you very much, the CEO of Nile One, and um, honored and privileged to be here. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, looking at the product which is already in place, blockchain, and um, the technology where we are right now, there are a lot of challenges which we people face. Mm -hmm. Number one challenge is people are not educated mm -hmm. and they end up in the wrong platforms. Okay. Most especially they end up in scams. But the industry is real and uh, the industry requires learning. That's why personally I'm dedicated to educate people. As I educate people, I create a community that can be able to use these products, okay? And trying to educate people to learn about this blockchain technology because this is where the world is going. This is where, uh, this is the way to go. Mm. Yeah, and this is where you own your own bank. Mm. Yeah, so uh, really Let, encourage- Let's talk about that fear because yes. always the public is in fear. Yes. The metric of fear. Uh, you've talked about schemes, Ponzi schemes in the market. It's being that people are not educated. Number two, some people, well, uh, as also educators, there are challenges that comes along with it. But um, the public always receives the information that maybe the entire industry scheme is scam. Wow. Usually, this is what has been shared also when the word WWW came through in early 90s. Mm. People used to say that, no, that is already a scam. It is a pyramid scam when they talked about internet as just something. Mm -hmm. But now all of us, internet is a necessity. So when you talk about, address the fear that people find when it comes to schemes and how they can overcome them by through education and massive awareness. Talk about it. Thank you very much once more. Uh, when you look at uh, this industry, Yes. Very much. First of all, the biggest fear people are looking, not only people, but even the government is in, in fear. Yeah. Because this technology has come to solve a lot of things, yeah. including the government. Yeah. First of all, uh, you know, with the, the data on the blockchain technology, if funds are being put together, maybe directed to be used for a certain uh, activity task. or yes. task in the government, Maybe if Ministry of Health is allocating funds, maybe to Soroti ho referral hospital. Yes. With the blockchain technology, data can be tracked. So you cannot divert that money to another place, okay? Yeah. Yes, or into your own pocket. So most government top officials, they are in fear of this technology because they will, will be trapped and they have nowhere to what? <laughs> to, to, to get the money. Yes, no one is cheated. Yes, yeah. including the government. So you find that these government officials, they are fighting the technology already. Okay. So when the government fight, meaning that even people get fear. Okay. Recently I've seen a, a notice from Bank of Uganda mm. trying to discourage people. But let me tell you, with technology, you cannot, uh, you cannot stop. Mm. As long as technology comes, you cannot stop. You either join it or you'll be forced to join it. I remember w those days when I, 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 they used to talk that, that whoever owns a phone, you already what? You're joining the other world. Mm -hmm. Yes, but right now as I speak, so many people are owning a smartphone. Yeah. But those days, most, most of our parents could tell us, no, those things are for another world. Yeah. But with the technology, I'm telling you, you mm -hmm. don't need to fight. You either learn it or you, you, you join it by force. Wow, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much for that humble submission. Uh, what I've learned through your submission that uh, you cannot resist technology. That is number one. Number two, what the government, governments around uh, the world, what they need to do is to really strategize and see how best can we, how best can they 
be part of the solution. I applaud countries or uh, governments that have come through, like the government of UAE, Dubai. I was there just so recent, and uh, they have adopted blockchain. They have an, uh, a program where they're going to deploy one million coders all over the world. They're in inviting coders in Solidity, those who are Web3 developers, and also Web2. They also skill them with their trainers because they're trying to invest in the future. They are trying to buy the future when it's still early. So, um, wow, I love the, the conversation going through. Uh, when it comes to um, also more educators to come on board, what, what inspires you to wake up every day without uh, getting tired? You wake up, you leave your other things, you leave your career, you leave your everything to focus on this technology as an agent of change. Because I understand that a lot of, um, you're seeing a lot of things that can be done. There's capacity for the young people to benefit and also create wealth. So what transpires you to do that? Thank you so much uh, once again, uh, yes. uh, CEO Nile One. Uh, you know, uh, this technology, uh, mm. you know Africa has been always backward with the so many technologies, yes. whereby when you find that the technologies come, you find that we miss always opportunities out there. Yeah, but I'm really so grateful as a young man, uh, having joined this uh, community and this technology. It has really helped me personally. I've transformed my life financially. Yeah, I'm enjoying, I've traveled around the world. It's really amazing and I've also created some many young millionaires wow. with this technology. Wow, yeah, wow. So that one really energizes me and motivates me to go ahead to try to educate more people mm -hmm. to build more bigger community because we still have a lot to do okay most young people are out there struggling looking for jobs mm -hmm. because most times our family they taught us after finishing school you have to get good grades and get a job mm -hmm. so those are old methods of working mm -hmm. but with this technology let me tell you, you don't need to move to the office, mm. okay? You don't need to move anywhere. You can stay at home, use your smartphone, and you'll be able to make money. Wow. But the big, most important thing is for you to learn. Yeah. Yes, give enough time to learn. Like, I encourage everyone, through this academy here, Nile Academy, you can be able to learn a lot about this technology. So I welcome everyone here, get in touch, and also we shall be able to train you more and you become a better person. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you, Cyrus. Let's get back to the developers, because uh, the, engine, the engineers who are driving the economy, the, we call it the, the Web3 infrastructure. Some of us, we call it the metaverse economy. Yes. Being that now the big elephant is the metaverse. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the applications on the blockchain. Mm. Before I go to uh, my brother into learning, as a community builder, he talked about learning, 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 learning. But before we go to learning, let's talk about the applications on blockchain, then we go to learning. Yes, uh, there are so many applications that can be built on the blockchain. Mm. Actually, all applications built in the Web 2 yeah. can as well be built on the blockchain in mm. the Web 3. For example, uh, social media applications can be built on Web 3. Uh, but the beauty about Web3 is that applications on top of Web3, mm -hmm. uh, people can contribute to the creators using their wallets. Now, the number one application on the blockchain is the wallet. Okay. A wallet is like our normal wallet where you keep money, mm -hmm. but on the blockchain, a wallet is where you keep your crypto or your tokens. Yeah. Now, the tokens or the crypto <coughs> is the equivalent of money in our normal world or the Web2 world. Now, uh, talking of uh, social media applications, I've seen a few that have been developed, mm. uh, including a clone of Facebook on the yeah. blockchain, yeah. a clone of YouTube on the blockchain, mm. and also so many other applications, like the one uh, like Anchor, where you mm. could get loans in okay. crypto. Mm. A community or a society or a person mm. can lend you crypto, and then you pay back. Mm. 
uh, before we go to, to the now the, facili the facilitator mm -hmm. or the, the fuel of blockchain, which is crypto. Mm -hmm. uh, like a car has, uh, has to take fuel so that it can move from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a jet or anything it has yeah. to do that. So even in blockchain, mm -hmm. uh, there's something you've talked about, crypto. And I believe that crypto, personally, I see it as the fuel mm. for the technology. Mm. Bec being that uh, now it is e everything is open, the community mm. gets in touch with the developers, the, developers the, the creators, the community with the creators, mm. and also the regulators into the ecosystem. Yes. So now that's a, a, a global village we are in. Yes. whereby everyone is equal to the other. It does not discriminate. No discrimination that, hey, 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 hey. Mm. everyone is equal to the other. Let's talk about, in brief, mm. crypto, cryptocurrency as an asset. I know some people take it as a currency, but let's talk about it in a perspective of an asset mm. in simple terms. Yes, crypto, uh, cryptocurrency, <laughs> The most popular, we know, or uh -huh. the first one we know, being Bitcoin. Yes. Uh, which most most of uh, the people ask us about when they want to get into crypto. Yes. They know Bitcoin. Yes. Now, cryptocurrency as an asset is where you hold this currency, or mm. this crypto, or this token, mm. and it gains value, okay. or it loses value. Okay. Now that comes into trading. Mm. Uh, but. If you hold Bitcoin, let's say. The economic activity is buy and sell. <laughs> nothing yes. much, nothing much. Yes. Where the value goes up or down? Based on demand and supply. Based on demand and supply. Yes. Okay. Now, if you hold BTC or mm. Bitcoin mm. as an asset, yes. it stores value mm -hmm. just like any other currency, mm. like the fiat is you know. Okay. But the beauty about Bitcoin as an asset mm. is that you're very sure. Now, for Bitcoin, it's going to be uh, it is going to be 21 million BTC produced. Okay. For fiat currencies, you don't know how much they can print. So, um, I see. Wait a minute. I see here, whereby um, when you look at the 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 the, the, uh, the fiat versus crypto, mm. fiat can be manipulated. Yes. Anytime uh, they say the 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 the, the produce the printer, I mean the, the the person printing it can decide decides on what to print. Can choose how much to what print. What to put in the in the market. Yes. But with crypto, it is fixed. Yes. It can't change. Yes. The more it is fixed, the more the lesser the the, the supply yes. and the demand cap keeps on appreciating, right? Yes. Wow. Which gives it more value. Mm. Yes. Okay, let me go back to, uh, thank you so much. We, we are coming back to you again. Uh, let me go to the, the, uh, the, the educator, the person educates, and uh, I know him, he trades. He moves markets as a market maker. Let's talk about uh, in your industry as an educator. What stood out for you to become an educator? Why did you, why did you go for that particular item into the ecosystem? Because I see uh, the opportunities are endless in the technology. Community manager, developer, uh, an educator. Very soon we are, we are going to see artists into the economy. We are going to see women in tech. But let's start with an educator. What stood out for you? Uh, so when it comes to crypto, mm. uh, I looked at it as uh, this is a new innovation. Okay. So it's something that is maybe going to grow because it will depend on who you ask mm. and who is going to participate in these assets. Mm -hmm. But being is being a, it's a decentralized uh, ecosystem, yes. each and everyone can be able to participate without limitation. Mm -hmm. um, the government cannot intervene and close maybe the Bitcoin. You cannot just send your Bitcoin to someone else. Mm -hmm. So being decentralized, mm -hmm. I saw an opportunity Yes. that these things are going to grow and anyone else would want to be part with something that is actually growing. Yeah, actually, that's where the question comes in. Um, 
depending on the current education system we have in Africa, let's bring it home to Africa, where our people, I discovered, they know too much of, of, of nothing. Let me leave it at that. Because you find someone, a young person, at, uh, at, uh, uh, a person who is in the education sector, they learn a lot of things, but in the end, they know little of each. So they become stagnant with information. For example, someone is in Uganda, but he's studying Canadian training. Then uh, the other one is studying uh, how one migrated from <laughs> Shaka Zulu. How they were chased, <laughs> or Shaka Zulu, or Zangedaba. Now, how, how do you relate this current education system vis a vis what the market wants in the 21st century? I happen to, to travel around and I discovered in the 21st century they prefer, the, the, the world market needs, uh, what is looking for skills. What are you good at? For example, if he's a good community creator, he's paid for that. Okay? So, uh, what do you see in your perspective uh, about the, the current education system versus the digital inclusivity, the digital inclusivity and literacy we are in? Uh, so, uh, the way I see it, mm. by a few years back, yeah. when it came to learning, yeah. of course you were supposed to go maybe to the school and maybe pay uh, school fees to a teacher, to an institution to teach you. Yes. But now, however much, yes, there are institutions to teach you s most of the things that we don't know. Depending on what the need is at any given point in time, it's not a matter of just a dollar. Uh, it is what you want to learn. Now, when it comes to e-commerce, which is the most common developer that you can follow, the developer is when it comes to that people want to develop uh, their currencies, maybe they want to learn more just now that we are in our Better than it, or you can follow traders on YouTube. So, Web3 brings to do something that you don't see there. You have even the NFT. So, if you are some, someone who is a gamer, or those who use Photoshop, Premiere, and all these apps, I don't know much about those ones, but those who are gamers, yeah, in, in, in Web3, they are going to be able to develop maybe mm -hmm. NFTs. Developers still in developing systems still they need designers. So people are going to be able to develop application of NFTs, they are going to be able to develop wallets, and these wallets are designed to sell to one guy, those people who are obsessed with e-commerce. Other things in Web3, you will be able to talk about it. So you talked of the cryptocurrency, which is the Someone explained how uh, funds are 
when you put somewhere and you start calculating by the government, it has been something to calculate. The value are going to be okay. transferred and at what time and with who are the two and from which which number to which number and so on. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, uh, you've talked about a number of things, uh, the education system, um, how people are uh, embracing, embracing the technology vis versus our education programs around. Uh, I also encourage the education programs that we have. Uh, we need to work on our curriculums. Think about the future of these young people that are studying things which are a bit uh, old-fashioned or outdated. Trust me, when you look at the way how the world works, the way how things are moving, um, we are focusing now, the world is focusing on skills. It is focusing on talent. What someone is good at, exposure. Something else should be real time. So um, when you look at... Uh, the way things are done, trust me, uh, with blockchain, education is going to change. Uh, we, we are going to show you how we enter into the metaverse. Uh, because, trust me, we're going to do an, a, a demo here with our Oculuses to show people how metaverse is, uh, people uh, use metaverse, uh, the virtual reality, mm. how they can go to university using metaverse. Um, how they can go to um, in a meeting, in a conference, in seminars, using um, metaverse. Metaverse is actually fiction only. Let's talk about metaverse right now. The, the next story we are going to do interacting with one another. It is scripted more, but it is going to be mm -hmm. in the metaverse. Remember, we have our Oculus here. We, we're going to show people how yes, it works. Yes, we can actually show people how <coughs> the metaverse looks like basically using our class. But uh, I've also had an announcement that Apple is developing uh, the Apple Glass, yeah. which is a very simple and thing that we want to put on phones. And you can use, we want to put everything on your phone in the glass. So you can interact with your phone. You want to put your notifications, your messages, your videos, everything. Whereby you don't need to pull out your phone. You can interact with it through the glasses. So Metaverse actually, <coughs> these glasses will be able to augment um, uh, details, will be able to augment uh, images of pictures within the real world. So that's the Metaverse for us. It is going to help us, it is going to change the way we do business, the way we do work, uh, the way uh, medicine is handled, the way mechanics is handled, because the metaverse can actually help you, you can bring the whole engine in front of you and you can diagonalize what the problem is uh, with the material or the machine. Yeah, talk about metaverse. Mm. Uh, when I was in Dubai, just a recent, everyone was using this because mm. it was a bit experiential. Mm. People were using uh, these uh, devices to the ones who wanted to maybe go to the Mars, the others who wanted to attend conferences, mm. those who wanted to play games, everyone was using this kind of equipment, Delicious. Oculus. So um, maybe briefly, to have uh, a feel with uh, the people who are watching us, tell them about this sound machine. Oh, this is an Oculus headset. Mm. It is being developed by Facebook. So Facebook actually changed their name to Meta, which is, which is said to have been got from the word Metaverse. So this headset, you put it on, and then you put it on your image in a new world. Okay. So there are two ty ty kinds of Metaverses. You have the argument whereby your images are going to be argumented in the real world, mm. and you also have the virtual world. Now this one puts you in the virtual world. It is totally new you're fully into a new space, into a new experience. You just put this headset on. For those of you who have, who have ever played video games, you're taken into a place, mm -hmm. like those ones you see in the video games. Okay. So you can use these handles, these controllers, mm -hmm. 
this thing uh, to do everything. Like you can use them to point, mm -hmm. you can use them to, to give this to this one, mm -hmm. just to have. So it is put on like this. Wow. Now inside here, if I'm if I'm maybe going to be coding like or working, with I can other do developers. Yes, mm -hmm. we can do interactions in a meeting, in the hydrogen. Okay. So it is me here in Uganda, but I can be working with another de developer in UK, but. The interaction like we are there. Okay. So I can do anything in my head to here. Uh, like work. Also I've had uh, you can you can have experiences like for instance, you just put it on and you get into a team. Wow. Think about all this kind of uh, uh, technology in this digital uh, economy, the inclusivity. What what you're talking about? the Web3 infrastructure. So um, for those of you who have just tuned in for the first time, I mean, who have been able to see this, we encourage you to always seek advice. Number two, seek information. Number three, associate with people who are experienced. Number four, we encourage uh, regulators to come on board not to hate the technology, but to work around with uh, people in the industry. Get to understand, however much in any industry, like any other industry, there are uh, teams, there are also opportunities. Where there is fire, there's always, no, where there's a smoke, there's always fire. fire. So instead of now fighting the smoke, why don't you also find out the fire inside? Like any other, uh, current, there is fake gold, there is precious gold. There is a fake dollar, there is real dollar. There is a fake Uganda shilling, a fake Naira, fake rands, but in the end there is also a real whatever. So uh, as we summarize, I, I believe someone, uh, we have an expert who is, going uh, who is joining us uh, remotely uh, from other studios. Moses, are you there? Moses, are you there? There's a topic of discussion here on Web3 uh, as a digital content creator. Are you there? Okay, as he's coming through, uh, maybe let me go back to the community manager, community creator, uh, Mr. Cyrus Ojiri. Uh, we happen to the young people, the young people in Africa, the young people who are moving the technology, the young people who are impressing governments around. Uh, what is your, share your journey, share your perspective, share your experience in the economy of inclusivity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, when you're joining something, a new technology, even sometimes you get scared, uh, scared and mm. skeptical yes because something that comes into you uh, it's like when you're given a, 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 a iphone eh? you get scared on how to even operate mm. you get excited but uh, when you don't go in details to understand how these apps work yes you find yourself saying ah uh, uh, when you're outside there you start saying that uh, uh, iphone is expensive things are expensive it, it, there is a lot of challenge <laughs> yes. about yes, but uh, if things are easy, as long as you're ready to learn, personally, from the time I started learning this industry, uh, really I have uh, seen a great change in my life. Okay, and um, personally, when we had a lockdown in uh, uh, the last year, yes, uh, as people were crying, crying for me, I was at home, relaxing, seeing money coming on my account. Yeah, so by the time the lockdown was done, people were calling me, there's some land they are selling here. Do you have money? I was already having money, I just went and bought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was making money when I'm seated at home. Okay. People were not moving. That's what this technology can do. You can work wherever you are. You don't need to move up and down. And it gives you opportunity to travel around the world, to learn and you associate with the billionaires. 
actually personal love hello from me not for instance the new era oh these guys are the new era oh the, these guys are buying these cripple like there is no tomorrow okay as the poor ones they are outside there they don't want to learn they are scared but these guys are really buying and most governments are involving themselves in buying this what crypto so my encouragement to everyone the young people out there please accept to learn because you know knowledge is the power and you will be there you will reach <coughs> your dream with this technology once you learn once you understand whatever money you want it will come yes yeah but there are some challenges of course which are attached to it like any other business outside there like any other work outside there but here the challenges makes you more wealthier okay yes that's why i was telling you before that so many young people are really uh, billionaires in the industry i've seen so many young people in uganda in kenya in europe they are quiet but they are making a lot of what money out of this crypto space okay yeah. and many new people are coming on board thank you oh uh, thank you cyrus you, you shared your experience and uh, <coughs> I, I believe uh, our brother comrade moses is is training us uh, moses are you there uh, first and foremost say hello to the people are you there Are you coming through? Okay, as he's coming through, uh, let me go back to the um, the developer from the de developer side. Mm -hmm. uh, we happen to see because we learn from the present. Mm. I mean, from the past, present, and we also see the future. What the future brings. We learned when internet came through. We also learned how the disruption of social media has came through, whereby uh, communication became a bit uh, easier. Yeah. Then right now, there's a new phenomenon of blockchain mm -hmm. and Web3, the metaverse economy, DeFi, mm. um, NFTs, uh, and so many other applications mm -hmm. on the on the technology mm -hmm. uh, the other day when i was in dubai i discovered i saw the dubai government set up a fund and they are recruiting one million coders mm -hmm. who are going to develop and take dubai and uae at large the next plan of 50 years so um as a developer, mm. I understand technology is one of the key drivers of a growing economy and the inclusivity. So software like is keeping the world. Software. We are more of into a software society. Mm. You have seen how mobile money in the East African community has really eased the payment uh, processes. Gone are the days where you, you queue up in the bank, you wait for uh, two, three hours, and then you meet uh, a teller with uh, a very weird attitude, mm. just as if he's he or she was <laughs> helping you to access your money. Mm. <laughs> yeah? mm. But now we are in, a, in, in an environment where any time is transaction time, any time you move your money, borderlessly uh, in within East African region. And now with the coming of crypto, y we transact globally, we are boundless. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in the 21st century, time is very important, mm -hmm. the technology is very important, and the community around you. So what do you advise to the uh, developers who are running on uh, an infrastructure of Web2. Mm -hmm. What is your take and what is your advice to them when it comes to the new economy? 
okay. digital economy. Okay. Uh, labor in uh, the industrial world or the mechanical world is not as the same as labor is going to be. Mm -hmm. Actually, how labor is in the computer world. Mm -hmm. Because most, most of the jobs in the computer world are being done by computer. Yeah, the AIs, yes. smart contracts. So you just basically program applications or softwares, mm -hmm. and they do the heavy lifting. Uh, by the way, it's just cut you short on that point. Mm. Uh, I went in a shop where they are selling robots. Mm. <laughs> we, we went in a restaurant that, that is being taken care of. I mean, the, the robots are the waitresses and waiters. Mm. You, you send it for food. It means that now this digital economy mm. is washing away all the manual way of doing work. The investment should be more in those who can do the programs, mm -hmm. not simplify the jobs. Wonderful. So what is your advice to them and also the governments around the world or now, Africa? Oh, for governments that have invested heavily in developers, they're actually doing the best, best thing for mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. Now, for other governments that are blocking the technology, maybe because they are not uh, aware of the beauty of this technology, mm -hmm. yeah. And they are working or they are uh, blocking the technology out of ego. Yeah. I've heard stories where a guy reads about a blockchain technology and the next day he's all in, like uh, the CEO of Binance. Mm -hmm. He just read about a blockchain and Bitcoin and he sold his apartment and anything he had to buy the coin. Why? Because he saw the future. He saw the beauty about this technology. Wow. Yes. Okay, as uh, we, we summarize, being that we, uh, we've been in this discussion, topic of discussion, we need to come to the conclusion of this matter. And then um, for the next segment, we're going to have a lot of people. Uh, trust me, keep sharing this work. Uh, click the subscription button on any channel you're watching from. Those on, on, on Discord channel, those on Telegram, those on Twitter handles, please share this work because you never know whom you're helping. Uh, as we summarize, uh, back to Cyrus, in one or two minutes, what advice can you give, one, to the young people, to the society? Number two, to the government around Africa and also Uganda inclusivity. What advice do you, uh, do you give? And also, what do you see in the next 2, 20, 30 years to come? Thank you. Yeah. Um, based on his point, uh, he talks about uh, the technology advancement. And um, uh, when you look at where the world is going, and uh, with the, the governments of in Africa, you find that we are still following the analog ways of education. And I want to encourage all governments at least to focus and to bring education, a blockchain education in school, so that uh, the children and the students can learn about this blockchain advancement, so that the world does not leave us behind. Remember, Africa has been left behind so many times with the technology. I encourage every government to take this technology more serious, so that we educate these children at school. Yes. So let's implement and have these courses. People can be able to learn about this technology because this technology is disrupting, uh, disrupting the world. There is no more jobs. What are we studying for? Are we studying mm -hmm. to get jobs? Yet robots are coming to, 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 to take over. So even young people out there don't study to look for jobs. I encourage you to adapt this technology Focus on the technology that can help you grow yeah, financially also. So we are here to educate everyone every day. And uh, we want everyone to take it very serious because we are tired of people looking for jobs. And there are no jobs yes. in years to come. You will not come to, uh, to, to serve me. The robot will definitely be serving me. <laughs> so we, we will pay you. <laughs> yes, the best thing is to... 
adapt the technology, not to fight the technology, not to listen to anyone, okay? Okay. Out there. Because this is the way to go. This is where the world is going. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cyrus. Um, okay, I come back to the uh, dev and also uh, my brother here, the, 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 the educator. Then we summarize for this particular session. Yes. Talk about the advice to the young people mm. like you. How old are you? 27 years. 27, you're still a young man. Uh, advise the young people who are coming through, who are not distorted with the current structure. Mm. 27 and below. Mm. 17 years, 15, mm. 5, no, 15? Yes, 15, 13. Mm. And also go towards 30 years, 40 years. Advise them. Mm. Uh, what is your message to the governments around the world? regulators of this these new technologies that's also where you see the future okay. of this i'll start with the youth out there mm -hmm. uh, the big key in our generation is the internet mm -hmm. there is a lot of information on the internet now the problem comes in accessing or knowing that we should learn because it is too many it is too much you might say to make uh, something out of it so better you if you get connected to any community like my one you're very welcome you can join me you can join us and we can help you structure your information or structure uh, your career now me i'm very lucky uh, that i started computers way back uh in like 27 2007 where I started programming in the C language. Okay. But it is not hard in these days because back then we had the challenge of internet. It was not so fast and the resources were not that enough. But in these days, we have a lot of content, a lot of information where anyone can just log on to the internet and you can read anything for free. Wow. For governments, I encourage leaders maybe to make research before you come up with regulation or before you block and stop the technology because technology has disrupted our society for quite some time. Way back since Web 1, it has always been evolving. It has not been stopped. I mean, technology are ideas in people's minds and they cannot, no one can get into people's minds to pull out those ideas. It is being adopted, the Web 3, the blockchain technology, the crypto, People are buying, however much government is discouraging, but people are still buying and they will still buy because there are lots of advantages and opportunities in owning crypto and buying crypto. So I encourage uh, leaders to get to know, to understand how the technology works. Maybe they will see beauty of it and embrace it in our governments. Because some governments like the El Salvador, El Salvador. Yes. Yeah, they had a conference just of recent. Yes. Two, three days ago. Mm. One week? I don't know. Yeah, it was. I, I saw a lot of go uh, government officials mm. from the. Uh, Invited a lot of government mm. officials in the country yeah, yeah, yeah. to discuss about Bitcoin, blockchain, and the three technology. So, my advice to governments is to embrace the technology. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay, as we are summarizing uh, the message to the young people, of course, be open-minded. Uh, make sure that you talk to your parents to give you this kind of knowledge if they can't. Or they take you where that you can find this knowledge. Number two, uh, internet is something that is uh, coming to be a basic need to human uh, lives. So we encourage governments and also internet providers around the world, please try to see how you can make internet almost free to the people. Because out of the internet, we're gonna see, we are yet to see more uh, innovations coming through. Uh, now, uh, when it comes to the governments around Africa, let me go in particular Africa. Uh, don't fight the technology. 
Don't think that things that you don't know don't exist. Find people who are running with it. Uh, become open-minded to learn the technologies. Uh, if you don't know, I am sure very, uh, I mean, people around, it, people around the technology have designed something that can always advise. I mean, guide under the, the, the operations and also the regulations. We are otherwise, we are much willing to open up for the people, I mean, for the government. We are not criminals. We have not come to throw governments. We have not come to terrorize, not even to finance uh, terrorism, not even to, 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 to carry out anti-money laundering, like some of you have tainted the people in the Web3 ecosystem or uh, who apply their skills to earn a living. We, the money we make, we invest, it, we invest it in our economies. Otherwise, if you, don't inv uh, if you don't want the investments that we make in our economies, we can always go where we are treated best. But before we do that, we want to thrive. We want to also become blessings to our communities. We want to become agents of change. What has transformed us to transform the people around us. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have a, a, a group of people who have come through to share knowledge. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for the wonderful production team. We've had various films, uh, uh, um, Cries, Moses, and Nile One's production team. Thank you so much, Baker, and others. So we've, we've, we've had a wonderful um, sessions and we are yet to uh, put together more sessions together. Thank you. Take care. God bless.